feel like we should have the X-Files music here, but they say the truth is out there and it might be terrifying. A just uncovered Defense Department summary of UFO induced effects ranging from abduction and paralysis to electrical shocks and even sexual encounters is shocking the world tonight. The report again is from the Defense Department, but what does this all mean? How are we supposed to interpret it when talking about UFOs? Just starting this investigation, National Correspondent William Lajeunesse shows us tonight. Pilots tracking unidentified objects, balls of light suspended over the ocean, UFOs chasing warships, all part of a growing body of sightings of UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomena. Oh my gosh. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Now comes something even more explosive, a 1,500-page Pentagon report of previously classified documents cataloging accounts from witnesses and victims claiming radiation burns, brain damage, even paralysis after close encounters with UAPs. This is the most haunting of all the reports from, from my perspective because it shows immunological deficiency. It shows... Um, altering human DNA. It shows degradation on a cellular level. Prepared in 2010 by the Pentagon's secret Advanced Aerospace Weapons Program, the report was released only after a Freedom of Information request. It found sufficient incidents, accidents have been accurately reported, and medical data acquired as to support a hypothesis that some advanced systems are already deployed and opaque to full U.S. understandings. This is from within the documents themselves. The report says humans have been injured from exposure to UFOs, from abductions at perceived time loss to sexual encounters and unexplained pregnancies. We're talking about an area where there is intervention with the human being on such a, a level that it's beyond just negative health effects. Uh, some of this stuff is really bizarre. So what's next? While this program ended in 2010, Corbell says the Pentagon continues to study UFOs and more military videos and documents are likely to be released this year. No response from the Pentagon. Brett? Okay, William, thank you. We will continue to follow this story and get any updates that we can.